morning guys apologies 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 for yesterday's video this is just an apology video because um uh, uh my volume was down and i didn't detect it guys that's on my end and i apologize 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 my previous video about marwa and um then ghanaian uh man that he met in um um brasilia <clears throat> the volume was very low the video was very nice. There was information that few people wanted you people to hear. But the volume was down. This is very, very unfortunate. But many more videos are coming. This is a guy. I can explain that this is a guy who Marwa, who, who called up uh, Marwa and uh, asked if they can hook up. And they met. The guy was not... Uh, the guy was very generous with information. He narrated to Marwa how he came to uh, Brazil and especially Brasilia, and how he even used to sleep in the park, how he came with a, um, a passport, a visa from a, a South African visa, though he's Ghanaian, that he was 14 years old when he was coming to uh, Brazil, and that he was on transit, on transit to Australia, but found refuge and uh, decided to stay in... Uh, Brazil. So uh, on meeting Marwa, the guy was very generous with information and he did not even hide the nitty gritties of his travel, guys. I don't know whether he was not fearing. He just poked it out. He told it all. He said how he, he faked documents to travel. And Marwa at one time asked him, do you know this is my, my, my channel is very wide. It's a very big channel. People can listen to this information and maybe come after you. But he didn't care. He said and said and said and said. He didn't fear. The guy looks contented. The, girl look, the guy looks settled. The guy is well built, meaning he's well settled. But this is a guy that one time slept in a park for two weeks without a, a home. Until one person uh, found him um, sleeping at the park and, and told him there's, a, there's somebody who looks like you. Somebody who looks like he's from your country, whom I can introduce you to. And uh, when introduced to the person, uh, that is how his, his life started uh, changing. And uh, he, he started settling up uh, in, uh, in Brasilia. No, that was uh, yeah before he came to Brasilia. And then, yeah, in Brasilia, he settled up there, got a woman who he says he has three kids with. But if, when asked if he's married, he says no. <laughs> I can imagine a woman getting the first kid, the second kid, the third kid, and is not married. The man is not married to you, yet you have given him three kids. Anyway, that's not the topic here. The guy says he's still, uh, they are still dating with that woman. They're in courtship. And they are soon going to get married. But he's a father of three. He loves his family and he says that is the reason why he has not moved out of uh, Brazil. That, that's why he has not traveled much. But he's somebody who's traveled. He's been to Mexico. He's been to many countries. He's even been to the U.S. But um, he's decided to settle in Brasil. In Brazil. And uh, I, I, I listened to this guy and I said, wow, the guy has information. He later got a work permit. First of all, he was declared a refugee. The refugee status, one thing led to another. He explained a lot. That's why I wanted you people to listen. But unfortunately, my volume went down. Um, and later got uh, the refugee status, which led to him um, maybe settling down. And after meeting the, the lady from uh, Brazil, who is a local, uh it's like they settled so the guy was uh not um um mean with information he was giving it all he was speaking it as it is and he was telling it all so i listened to him and i said maro at one time looked a bit bored i don't know but uh when they went and had a lunch in a chinese restaurant and it was like food was being weighed by the weights they had to weigh the food in a plate. It was about $18, $14 or $18 thereabouts. And the guy did not eat. It's only Marwa who ate because the guy said he had eaten. 
But Marwa served heavy. Marwa served heavy as usual. You know Marwa eats one meal in a day. So he made sure that he served heavy. And he, he had his meal, which was very nice. And uh, looked like he brightened up. The guy was very generous, guys. Very generous. He even wanted to buy ice cream for Marwa, which he later did in the same video. But uh, it's like he's offering and offering and offering. Offering to do everything for Marwa. And uh, offering any information for Marwa. Even the information about his woman. How he loves uh, busted women. Women that are big busted. And uh, went ahead and said he doesn't care even if they are, they are like what. But as long as they are big busted, he loves them. And Marwa was quick to, to tell him that his, his video, his channel is watched even by children. <coughs> So he was sorry about that. So he was um, he was um, advised not to give so much information, personal information by Marwa. And they walked and walked and walked in that town. And as I was looking at Marwa walking with this gentleman, I said, Marwa will always be connected. How did he even connect with this guy? In fact, the guy was offering to, to take Marwa places if Marwa had time. And unfortunately, Marwa... Had, has only three days in that country. So the places that the guy was saying, maybe we can go, we can go, we can go. Marwa said, oh my God, my time is limited. But look at him. He's a YouTuber also. And he would have taken Marwa places. And hearing him, it's like uh, he's a good man. He's a good man who, 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 who whose who's, um, struggle started from young. Because he says that he lost his parents, he, he lost his, his mother, sorry, his mother, when very young. And the father was an absentee dad. He was never there. It's like he was not there at all. So the guy, even when traveling at 14 years old, had to fake all documents to go because he had no ties at home. I don't know if he had brothers and sisters, but he chose to travel um, because uh, he actually had to look for a life. And thinking of losing a mother and the only parent that you have at an age that is very young, and you thinking of how you're going to travel and fake documents and travel, and here you are, settled in Brazil. I thought this guy, and looking the way he's looking, he's looking uh, well-fed. He's well-fed, guys. You know, somebody who is hungry, you can tell by the look of the body. So he doesn't look it. He looks uh, well fed, well well, well catered, uh, catered uh, taken care of, and uh, talks of a first wife. And now the wife he has, who he says is not married to. I hope he would settle with one and say, be saying my wife, because he's talking about his three children so much. Looks like he, he can make a good family man. But uh, what I was driving at is that uh, this guy started with very, 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 with nothing. He even talked of how he traveled with only $300 to Brazil from his country uh, 14 years ago. And uh, I'm thinking that uh, $300 then was money. It was money because he even said then it was still the equivalent of the $300 today and, uh, in the U.S. So that he was able to, to, to settle with that. So you can imagine where he had gotten the $300 from. An orphan, if I should say, who did not even have a, 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 somebody to support him. And very determined to even sleep in, the, in, in a park in a foreign country on transit to Australia. He said he was on transit to Australia, which he never, he never did. He never even went to, to Australia. He ended up um, in this country and permanently now. I didn't hear him talk of uh, wanting to leave this country. He was like, uh, I'm going to be here. And Marwa was kind of entertained by this guy until his battery went down. Until his battery went down. And uh, the story was not ending. The man was generous and extra generous and offering and offering and offering. And Marwa was like, okay. Let's go this direction. Let's face this direction because of the sun. Let's go. Let's cross over. You know, this company is God-given, guys. The steps of the righteous are ordered by the Lord. The Lord is the one who orders Marwa's steps. That's the way I've come to conclude because you'll never find Marwa stranded. Never. 
And I'm telling you guys, even those that have traveled can get stranded, but you'll never find Marwa stranded. Marwa's ways and, and uh, walks are defined and, and ordered by the Lord. And that is why you see, uh, I told you that Marwa's uh, grace that he gets sufficiently from God started when he lost his eye. You see, God will never ever leave him, neither forsake him, nor forsake him, because... This is a guy who wears a goggles all through, shades all through, because he lost an eye and he wants to protect the only eye that he was left with. And when I see sometimes him struggling to even swim with the, with the, the, the shades in water, sometimes I see him uh, struggling to even remove. You know, there are times you feel like you, they're even tiring your face and you want to remove. But because he doesn't like showing his, his, his eye, he has to have this... Uh, kind of trademark uh, goggles, goggles, goggles or shades on his face all through his life. And um, wherever he walks, he walks with God. He's a happy guy. You guys talk about Marwa the way you want. I will always find him happy and blessed. And uh, this guy, is, is, is his steps are ordered by God. So uh, as, I, as he met this guy, I knew. I knew that even the next town that Marwa goes to, he's still going to get somebody. You'll never find him at his stranded and bored. He's going to get somebody who will walk with him, show him the, 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 the city or wherever he'll be. And he likes, you know, he likes talking, uh, talking to girls. And whenever a girl passed by, you could hear Marwa talk to, through a word or two to a girl. And uh, always, always Marwa will connect. Always. How many of us can connect the way Marwa connects? Always Marwa will connect with, with people and especially ladies. Men will always volunteer to look for him and they meet up and they, they do content. Even this guy is a content creator. I'm yet to get his YouTube name. Did he say Suprema or Supreme? I'm going to get his content, uh, his, his, his um, YouTube name. And he said he has 10,000 subscribers. So guys, this is also somebody who who I think is also going places. And he's good-hearted. He's loving. He's, he's, he's happy. He's very happy to have met Marwa. You, he, could, he felt like even jumping the minute they just met up. You could see him try to... So excited that he could even jump. Jump up and down because of happiness. My God. Hey, this was just an apology video. It ended up becoming a, a big video. It was about the sound that did not add up well in my previous video. And I felt like I shot, shot what, shot changed you guys. And what better way to rectify a problem other than uh, than this? It's just a matter of uh, uh, apologizing about the previous video and telling you what it is about, what it was about, and this is what I'm doing at the moment. And yet there is a part two coming, part two that is below there that uh, the about them still exploring the city of, uh, of uh, uh, Basilia, Basilia, Brasilia, Brasilia. <clears throat> Guys, I hope I'm not going to catch a cold because I'm feeling my nose is not very okay. And that's why I'm blocking. I'm blocking while talking. I, it's a cold season in Kenya. This is July, very cold season, but not as cold as last year. We are enjoying some, some warmth in the day, some sun, sunshine in the day so guys wow my guys so guys my guys so guys my guys did you remember to subscribe to this channel hey guys it is free to subscribe hey guys it did not cost you anything hey guys it will only cost you this goodwill this goodwill the goodwill in your heart to just subscribe and support this channel just hit that subscription button there just hit it up and um Yes, you'll have subscribed to this channel. And do you know where we are heading, guys? We are just heading there. Just there where I've always told you. So please subscribe to this channel. And like, share, and comment. Comment. A nice comment always is welcome. No insults. <laughs> just a nice comment. And uh, please support this ch channel. Thank you for always subscribing. There was, thank you for always coming back to watch my videos. I don't take it for granted, guys. Whenever I see somebody having subscribed, I appreciate that person so, so much. Because I know it takes good heart and goodwill to subscribe. So, guys, thank you for subscribing. 
I appreciate you so much. And uh, those that are new, you are welcome here. This is Never Age TV. Please subscribe and be one of us. And uh, guys, we are going to meet you in the next one. Bye-bye.